to it. We're going to learn what makes Easter so special. But first, would you like to try our new game with me? It's called Hop To It. Let's stand up. Hop up high and duck down low to help the bunny dodge some surprising obstacles and get to the basket of eggs. You can take a seat. Awesome job, amigos. For sure, Easter is great with all the candies, marshmallows, chocolates, and of course, eggs and bunnies. But the reason why we celebrate is because of what Jesus did for us. Are you ready to find out what it is? Bible is full of stories about people just like you and me who do wrong things like lie and make fun of others. We all love ourselves way more than we love God and that hurts our friendship with him. Would you be friends with someone who lied and hurt the people you love? The list of wrong things we do goes on and on because we're all sinful, but God had a plan since the beginning of time to forgive our sin and fix our broken friendship with him forever. And that's where Jesus comes in. Jesus gave up his sweet life in heaven to come down to live on earth. Would you leave your home if you had the largest pizza buffet with all you can eat ice cream for dinner? Well, we don't know exactly what heaven is like, but we do know it's more amazing than we could ever imagine. I wouldn't give that up. No way. But that's what Jesus did. He gave up everything to come and be with us. And while he lived on earth, Jesus experienced the same things we do, including the temptation to do wrong things. But what's so amazing about Jesus is that he lived a perfect life. That's right, I said perfect. No bending the truth, no arguing with his brother, and no sneaking candy when mom said no. A completely sinless life. Wow, that's something we could never do. And because of that, we needed someone perfect, AKA Jesus, to take the punishment for all of our sins. As Jesus got older, he began traveling around, telling everyone about God's love, healing the sick, walking on water, and performing miracles. We're talking feeding thousands of people with one tiny lunch kind of stuff. And as you can imagine, many people heard about Jesus and wanted to know more about him. Jesus got real famous real fast, and people from all over came to see him. But as his popularity grew, it started to make the religious leaders at the time really uncomfortable. They were like, what? Does he say he's God's son? The Messiah? The savior God has promised? That can't be right. Well, as Jesus kept performing miracles, they just became angrier and angrier and demanded he be punished. They took him to Pilate, their head honcho guy, and even though Jesus had done nothing wrong, Pilate gave in to some serious peer pressure and let them take Jesus away to kill him. One of the hard parts about Easter is to hear about all the really horrible things they did to Jesus. They spit on him, beat him up, and nailed his body to a cross. It was terrible, the absolute worst. As Jesus took his last breath, the skies grew dark, and he cried out, Father, I give you my life. Then. He died. It felt like all hope was lost. But don't worry. God had a plan, remember? One of the religious leaders named Joseph didn't agree with what had been done to Jesus. It's like he knew that Jesus was really who he said he was. So he took Jesus' body down from the cross, wrapped it in linen, and placed it in his own tomb. Then a large stone was set in place to cover the entrance. Three days later, Two of Jesus' friends named Mary went to visit his tomb, and that's when they got the surprise of their lives. The earth began to shake. 
and out of nowhere, an angel appeared to roll the stone away. The angel told the women that Jesus had risen just as he said he would, and they should go quickly and tell the others that Jesus is alive. Did you hear that? Jesus is alive. They had the most surprising and wonderful news. Soon after, Jesus began appearing to his disciples and many others. He encouraged them to give their lives to following him and sharing the good news of how he came to save everyone from their sins. And the best part was that Jesus promised to be with them and help them do it. So naturally, the disciples were like, sign me up! They spent the rest of their lives telling others all about Jesus' love. And we can too, believing that Jesus gave his life for us and giving our lives to him is the best decision we can ever make, then he will be with us every day and help us tell others all about his amazing love. Wow, I love Jesus. He is so good. It is a long and deep story, isn't it? I would like to focus on today's truth. Jesus gave his life for me. His love for us is so strong and unconditional that he didn't doubt for a second about giving his life for us. Well, let's get ready for a special memory verse. Let's repeat it together. We know what love is because of Jesus Christ. He gave his life for us. 1 John 3.16 Great job, friends! See you next week to continue our Easter story. Remember to invite a friend. See ya!